Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. With the garage finally fixed after uh, far too long, we can now pursue our experiments with alternative fuels. Uh, I got a little excited and started. This is Road Tech Synthetic Blend 10W30 motor oil. We have one cup measured out. And what we've done here is we've loosened the bolts to our fuel tank, shifted it over a little bit, added a T. The T uh, comes from the filter. We've got a valve, a valve. Uh, this is our experimental fuel tank. And this is just crap I had lying around the garage. This is the return line, which comes from the injector up here and will normally go back to the fuel tank. Now we've got a T fitting here so we can, when we're running our, our, our turn alternative fuels, we can feed back into the experimental tank. So, let's take this experimental fuel and see if it's enough. That is barely enough. But it's enough to do an experiment. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Let's add another cup. This really stinks doing this one handed. One cup. Why isn't that coming out? I wonder. There we go. We have opened the valve. There it is. There it is. It's got to go through this uh, fuel filter. With any luck it'll work. You can see the valve, fuel valve is off. There's no fuel in the system. This is all live. I'm going to keep it live so you know I don't, I'm not trying to pull anything on anyone. I guess we'll just have to wait. This is just RAO, regular motor oil. I'm going to say once that level gets up to the uh, height of the outlet, that's when we'll start seeing some flow. Maybe I need to open the return valve. Should probably do that. Oh no! I just realized I didn't block the return valve to here, so I'll give me a second and I'll make that happen. Okay, so with some more pieces we found in our garage, this is how we're stretching our quarter inch line quarter inch uh, this fitting is a male and a female so we needed a double female and yeah so this is I'll show you in a second how we hook this up sorry I know I promised no takes but the good news is 
we have fuel and we'll have to see how that goes all right ladies and gentlemen we are back this is how I've wired this in this is the return line we've got it teed one line well it has a filter and it's going back to our secondary tank that has a cutoff and this is the other side of the T that's going to go back to our diesel tank there we are there and this is cut off so it's not returning to the diesel tank with any luck yeah this will happen so let's work our way over here and I'm not going to go wide open throttle and go about half here and tighten that down get all this stuff off the table and shaking around and let's see if it fires up
quick, we ran her out of fuel. And just to show you, that's off. Let's turn this on and start it up again. So that's a successful test, I call it. We haven't used much fuel, I haven't calculated, I'm not going to calculate how much, but just to know that this is an honest review. Again, we have used synthetic blend 10W30, new in the container. We've added some as fuel, we added some in here because there wasn't enough in here. So, that is a viable option to power your diesel. Have a good day everyone. Don't forget to don't forget to what? Like and subscribe. And what else? Leave a comment if you're interested. Okay. <laughs> Have a good day everyone.